Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm chilling with um this female last night, right? Well, actually, it's about four four nights ago. I take that back, like four nights ago. And she goes, and this is like the, this is like the third time this happened to me. And she goes, you know, King. She was like, you make me want to fuck you, and you don't really even be saying too much. And I kind of just laughed it off, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, you tripping. But when she said it, it kind of like struck a nerve. I'm like, I heard that before, you feel what I mean? So, long story short, so I thought about the other people that said it. And I was trying to put it together, you know? And she was like, I don't know what it is. She was like, I don't know what it is about you. She was like, I fuck better looking dudes. I had dudes with more money, X, Y, and Z. I don't know what it is about you. And I laughed, I looked at her and I laughed. And I was like, it's everything about me. It's not just one thing, it's everything about me. And then she was like, ah, oh, here you go with your king shit. I was like, nah, peep it though, peep it though. I said, I'm being for real. I said, it's the places we go. It's how people respect me. It's how I respect other people. I'm constantly making somebody smile. I'm constantly teaching somebody something. I'm constantly protecting somebody, you know what I mean? But I said, furthermore, on a female level, I said, I provide a lifestyle. When you're around me, you're sitting on different stuff that you never sat on. You're walking on something different that you never walked on. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm providing a lifestyle. And she got it. She was like, yo, you're right. She was like, even when we here chilling at the house, you have a chef come cook. I was like, there you go. She was like, we go out on the yacht, you have a chef on the yacht. I said, there you go. It's not my yacht, but when we do, we got a chef on the yacht. And which, which is another thing, I stopped renting yachts because I realized I could afford a yacht. And for what I'm paying them one trip, I'm paying their whole mortgage on the yacht. But that's another story. So ever since um, me and her had this conversation about providing a lifestyle, I had I, it been in my mind to break down exactly how I did it. You know what I mean? So I could relay it to other people. And really, to be honest with you, it wasn't easy. I'm going to make it sound easy, but it was not easy. Um, really, I started diving into my credit, bro. Like, for real. I just became a credit junkie, to be honest with you. And I remember the first time I got like $150,000. Bro, I had just started my credit like seven months before that, eight months before that. Maybe a year, you know what I mean? So I made, hundred well not made, but I gained $150,000 in, in capital and funding just because I was dropping 30, 40, 60, $100 a month on my credit, 200 a month on my credit. You know what I'm saying? If you break down the money that we spend on just takeout, that's $30 a meal, $25 a meal. You definitely do that eight times in a month. That's super credit right there. You understand what I'm saying? You can't provide a lifestyle for you, your girl, your wife, for nobody ever if you won't invest in your credit. Because right now, credit is king. You trust me on that. It's not cash is king no more. As a matter of fact, cash is so bad that inflation is eating your money up at a higher rate than it normally is. You understand? So you're losing 3 to 4% every year, leaving your money in the bank or leaving it in a box. You're losing money. You're not saving anything. That's why they say savers are losers. But at the end of the day, you got to invest in yourself. Some of y'all need to just take a few dollars and invest in your credit. That's it. But anyway, next subject. Um, business credit. I have, this is a three subject video, kind of 
kind of all the same thing though just different opportunities for what y'all want to do all right business credit i have a two different packages if you already have existing business credit then you do not need the big package i'm gonna repeat it for you if you already have business credit you do not need the big package you only need the small package so don't you can save your extra 50 bucks or whatever i'll still teach you how to use it but you don't need it all right if you have no business credit well the first package would be a hundred dollars for business credit and it is six i think it's six um uh six companies that will approve you easily and if not i have two companies that are guarantee approve you and after two or three months with them, the other companies will start approving you like dominoes. And then you'll just start building it from there. I did it with someone else's credit. And to be honest with you, I wish I would have did it with my, my first company's business credit. Because that's my oldest company. But I'm going to go back and do it. Um, um, I can't do everything. I'm human. <laughs> I can't do everything at once. <laughs> but anyway. Um, yeah. So for the business credit package, the second one is $150. Um, reason being out it should be 200 but i know it's hard times right now for some people so reason being that's we're just gonna call it the business unlimited for per se um if you already have business credit you can still use the business unlimited trust because it's going to show you how to add more and more and more uh paper primaries onto your thing you understand what i'm saying and these aren't authorized users these are real active accounts these are real accounts that you're responsible for that you can actually purchase things with. So be responsible and you'll get unlimited money. You feel me? Eventually, over time, they just keep adding on more and more. You get what I mean? So, um, yeah, so the business credit package would be 150 and I'll teach you how to use it. There is no cheap package with that because one, if you ain't willing to invest $100 to build your business credit, you should not be an entrepreneur at all. I promise you. Because if I if if we were another race, I promise you I'd be able to sell this for 300 no problem. No problem. But I know my people were very skeptical. So, whatever. It is what it is, and I just like blessing people regardless. It ain't about the money. But um just making a point that other races, white, black, I'm sorry, white, Asian, and Latina they will invest in their future. Black people will invest in shoes. We'll, we'll throw some dollars on a chick so we look like we got money. You know what I'm saying? We'll buy a nice $400 belt so we look like we got money. But we won't do the things to actually have money. So now I'm giving you a temporary time frame to do something different. Because this will not be up forever. Reason being is the third thing I'm going to say. Anybody who listen to me, you know I always drop a gem at the end. You know, right? All right, so this is the gem. We're going to, I found, I figured out, we're doing hella research for months. I figured out how rich people are building credit so fast. And how they're getting these 750 and 800 credit scores that are nearly impossible to get. Nearly impossible. Alright. And this shit is so... You know how YouTube got a video for everything, right? For everything, right? This shit is so hush. That's why I said I'm not promoting it as credit building. Let's just say that it's not credit building. Um... It's debt assuming. So if you just need to follow my drift. It is debt assuming with some benefits. So now peep this, right? I know this video will run a little long, but it is what it is. I right, peep this. You know YouTube got videos for everything, right? Look, I've tried everything. Assumable assets. I've tried assumable debt. Everything. And guess what? Nothing shows up. Nothing. I've been looking at least for a month on YouTube. Look all the way back to a year. Nothing shows up. How something so popular, been around for 40, 50, 100 years, 
has no data no data but if you do this pick this but if you google assuming that read here assume debt a debt obligation of an acquired company that becomes an obligation of the acquirer you hear that a debt obligation of an acquired company that becomes an obligation of the acquirer you can be like yo what does that even mean right who would know what that even means right I, how do you assume someone's debt you can take responsibility for someone else's debt in a variety of ways. Depending on the type of debt involved, in most cases, it's as simple as contacting the creditor, giving the person, oh, let me turn down a little bit. Contacting the person, giving the creditor your personal information and agreeing to becoming the guarantor of the debt. Still no information on what it does, right? All right, but you see, you can assume it, right? All right, let's connect the dots. That's how my brain works. Can you assume someone else's debt? Um, while you can't just put your entire credit card account in someone else's name, it is possible to give them your debt. Credit card companies offer the ability to transfer balances from one card to another, even if they're not held by the same person, as long as both parties agree on the transaction. Hmm, connecting dots. So which basically means I can't have your credit, but you can give me your debt. So what I said in my brain is, so what if you have an old debt that you paid four years on and I want to take that debt? Assume it. Consume it. Assume it. See, but they use assume. It's like a word that we totally, it doesn't relate to what we normally would think. But if you look at the definition of assume, it does. Like you can assume a position. You feel what I mean? Um, all right. And then it says, um, can you legally transfer a debt from an person? And in, in most cases, you wait. In most cases, you cannot transfer a personal loan, personal loan to another person. If your loan has has a cosigner, that person becomes responsible for the debt with default. Okay, that was, that's not what I'm looking for. Um, wait, hold on. Okay, it was, and this another one on here that I read. Long story short, um, long story short, it's another one I read on here. Why would someone file a UCC? You see, it's legal filing. Okay, this, look at this. So then I looked up. Okay, well, how do you actually report it? UCC filing. Is a legal form that a creditor files to secure its interest in a borrower's property or assets used as collateral for a loan. Filing, the filing service is a public notice that the creditor has the right to take possession of the assets as repayment of the underlying debt. Now, if you understand what that means, it's basically saying what I just said. All the other things where you can assume and take responsibility for the debt. Once you take responsibility for it, you now have the history Aha, uh -huh. you now assume the credit history. And this leads me to my last point. And I'll make another video on this because I know not everybody gonna watch to the end. I want a hundred people to donate or invest, not fucking donate, but to invest $50 each. A hundred people to invest $50 each. We're going to start our own UCC filing company. Um, I won't, I can't explain too, too, too much because that's the point of it. If I go talking about it and blabbing about, oh, what is the this, this shit, they'll change. But do you see the way it's worded in ways that you, you're not going to really understand it? That's because it's in existence. Look, debt assumption, 1790. Under the Funding Act of 1790. Like, what the hell? I hope that's just a number. I hope that's not the year it happened. That's not even possible, right? Oh, no. It says something about 1812. Yeah. This has been going on since 1812. So, yeah, it's possible. 
I know Wikipedia is a little off sometimes, but the fact that they're talking about a war of finance, I mean, it got to be somewhere around there. You get what I mean? Um, let's look that up. Funding Act of 1790, the full title of which an act making a provision for the payment of the debt of the United States was passed on August. What the hell? This was passed in Congress. So there y'all go live. You see me digging it up live. What time is it? 6.28 a.m. I've been up since like four. But there you go. Look at that. So that's what we're doing, bros. I want, I'll explain it a little. Nah, I can't, I can't explain too much of it, to be honest with you. Um, I'm going to do this myself regardless. And everyone who invests $50, we're going to boost. Well, I'm sorry. At, we're going to assume debt. And you're going to assume that history. And you'll have great credit once we're done. Everyone who invests their $50, we're going to do your file personally, and you're going to have great credit once we're done. At least a huge start to having great credit. You understand? This is an experiment that we almost can't lose on. Why I call it an experiment? Because I've never done this deep before, but I'm showing my capabilities. And as you can see, this has been around since 1790, so I think we got it. You see, I'm not talking anything illegal. So let's get it, man. You have three different options. You got the regular business package, business unlimited. And if you don't need that, your black ass, your Spanish ass, your white ass, your Asian ass, whatever you are, I don't care if you're a turtle, you need to invest because one, I won't be doing this forever. Once I'm gone, I'm gone. <laughs> if you know me from Instagram, you know. When I'm gone, I'm gone. When I make a move, I'm out. You, ain't gonna, you don't see me for a while. I may not post for six months. That's just how I move, bro. It's life. I'm trying. You see this video? That's how we're living, bro. And with not this large, but that's where I'm going to. Hell yeah. That's the type of life I'm going to be on. I need just another year. Another 365. Especially with the team I'm building, man. Another 365. But anyway, man. that These are the diamonds. These are the diamonds. Eat them up. Eat them up. I promise you. If you don't take advantage of this, bro, just, I don't know why you even listen to me. Why even subscribe to me? You feel me? Like, I'm not talking that good of shit for you to listen to me. Like, if it's not improving your life. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> but anyway, man. King shit, man. I want y'all, I want when you're done with my channel, you're a different man. That's, that's my low-key goal. It's not just about women or just about money or about credit. Nah, it's all of it. About being a boss, looking like a boss, smelling a boss, everything. Being good to your woman or good to your puppy or whatever. All of it. It's about being a better man. That's what I want you to be done with when you're done with my channel. You feel me? But anyway, man, King said, you know how we do it. Getting smoother and smoother every day. Yeah.